Hi everyone, welcome back to another Achievement Guide. And today we are going to be doing the first act of Kentucky Route Zero. As you can see, this starts us off in Equus Oils. I believe it's in Oils. I didn't look quick enough. Uh, Equus, well, from what I know of Ark, is a sort of zebra-like horse sort of thing, as you can see by the head here at the starting gas station. Uh, this act is going to give us quite a few achievements. I'm going to show each of them as we go along. I will grab all of them. So just please pay attention, check it, watch my guide, and uh, you'll also get an achievement at the very end for completing the act, as you will for any other act. So as we start here, we're going to talk to this attendant. You can see that there's an eyeball and a conversation button. An eyeball is like inspecting something, so you want to click the conversation button. Uh, and what you'll see that I will do in a lot of these situations, I'm going to start blitzing through the conversations. So you can see I start off a bit slow here. From what I can tell, most of this game, it really doesn't matter what you say. So you, I just spam click. Uh, if you, I've, well, depending on what you're using, I'm using a mouse, as you can see. Uh, when you hold down the conversation bubble after talking to someone, it speeds up the conversation. Makes it a lot quicker. I feel sort of bad because... You know, the developers do work hard, so I wanted to type a lot of this information. Um, but I just kind of skipped through it because I'm just trying to work on the achievements. So we talked to that gas station guy there. Now we're going to go talk to what he calls the basement people. And you'll see here, this is where I'm just spamming through the conversation. Really doesn't matter what you say. And I'll make sure to point out exactly when it matters what you do say. So they wanted something from us. So we just got to move over to the left here. And we can see that there's something there. Um, so what you want to do is you want to turn off your lantern, which I'm going to do here in a sec. There's just that button there with the light symbol. Now we can grab that glowing game piece that we can. Now that we can see it, turn our lantern back on and move. Go back over to the basement people. And as you move over, you'll see that you just have to. There's only the only option is to click the table here. So I just place the twenty sided dice down on the table, and they've cleared it out. So now we can move over to the breaker. You'll see that slash symbol. It means it's like an electronic sort of thing that we have to mess with. So we click that and we light everything up. And I thought this was really cool. Now you can see the whole Equus lit up here underground. And it's a whole thing. And now it's a lot brighter and nicer outside. Because we did restore the power. So now we got to go talk to Joseph again. And he's going to give us a password for his computer. So we're just going to go through that conversation. And now we make our way back over to his computer over here. Click the symbol. Uh, you can just pick a password. It really doesn't matter what you do. I just type in a bunch of stuff. But there will be something that we do have to click here. And so you can see these options here. I was spamming, so I accidentally clicked that. So just be careful. But you'll see the options. There was address book. There was games, messages. Click address book and click Marquez. As you can see me do there. And then you'll get a copy of the directions. But I'll show you how to get there and that won't really matter. But what you're going to want to do really quickly is talk to your dog over here. You're going to want to say, how's it going, Homer? How about a treat? Here's some jerky from the gas station attendant. And then it doesn't really matter what you say here. I just kind of click whatever. I was reading through them because I was kind of curious. You can cl click whatever you want after those three things that I did tell you to click. And this will get you your first achievement. I bet a dog will eat it. For sharing Joseph's homemade jerky with the dog. Now we're going to jump into our vehicle. We've got the wheel button here. Anytime you get into a vehicle, I didn't know what this was. Um, so it'll give you an option. It'll say like to move on. Like has places to go or take a minute to think slow down something like that whenever you're wanting to drive always click the top option it has something to do with continuing on now that we're on the road we can drive wherever you can drive on the main highway the side streets you're just going to take the 65 all the way up to the top here and we'll see the burning tree that we can click on but we want to go just to the left of that which is what i'm I'm just trying to remember where to go. If you go over to the left here, you see the Marquez Farmhouse, which is the directions we got. 
and now we're at the next location and it'll flip to another scene a lot of the i mean all of these acts have different scenes once you've hit those uh different areas those different checkpoints things like that and i probably won't talk constantly there's really no point uh that i talk during like dead periods like this will be right here we're just climbing up this giant hill so i'm just going to keep clicking uh, on the mouse controls, you're just clicking to decide where to go. So sometimes like this, there's nothing really to say as you're just kind of making your way through the level. But you'll see this this winds back and forth. It goes up and to the left, then way up to the right, then up to the left. Until you get to the house where it gives you that option to go up into the house. And I wish I, I mean, I say I wish I knew more about what's going on. Um, like, I don't really know why we're here, what's going on. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention. If you want to do more than just achievement hunt, from what I've discovered, or I've come across, I should say, uh, just click set up TV here, as you see I'm doing, once you've entered the house. But it, what I've discovered is, there's a lot of different things you can do in this game. Like, there's, there's, uh, alternate locations to go to, different Easter eggs, different things to see, different conversations... What I'm going to keep showing you is the quickest possible path you can take and spamming conversations along the way, but there are a lot of cool things to see, um, but I, I never saw them myself because I wasn't as interested in the storyline or anything like that. I just wanted to flip through it. But you'll see during this conversation, I click TV. I'm just having this conversation with them, spamming through the conversation. And you're kind of stuck here watching as you can see like a lot of these different things there'll be checkpoints where um, my mouse is gone as you might be able to tell so you, there's nothing to click on it completely gets rid of your option to click anything you just kind of kind of have to ride it out and wait for it to play now that you can again go outside climb back down the hill and we're gonna go right back to our truck and move on Nice thing, though, is our guy does run. You'll see a bit later on that uh, he doesn't. So he's a little bit quicker, and that's great. Don't have to watch him run, run around for a long time. I mean, I don't see why they, you know, maybe couldn't just put stairs up to the house. Like, just kind of intentionally dragging it on uh, a bit long. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Got to run down the path. And like I said, I was still learning the game a bit, but always click that top option to move on. Now we're going back to Equus Oils. You can see the picture of the Equus right there. So just drive on down and then click on the symbol or the arrow, I should say, to go back. So we're going to get our second achievement of the game here in Act 1, Scene 3. Which I'll show you how to get it here in just a second as we load up. So we're back at the gas. We can see this guy standing here next to Joseph. He's what they call the strangers, it says. So we're going to talk to them. He's this guy that he's got antlers and things like that. And you can see by the dialogue, his name is Carrington. All we need to do is talk to him. Well, we're going to learn that he's a playwright, which we'll see a bit later as well. Uh, apparently, it'll enable some sort of final interlude later in the game, which I haven't come across yet. But this will get you the achievement Finding Carrington, which is for returning to Equus Oils and finding Carrington there. And now we can move on. We're going to follow uh, the directions. If you want to progress in the storyline, this we just came back here literally for this achievement. So now we have to move on. So we're going to go to the northeast corner of the map. So we're going back to Marquis' house as we can see there. But we're just going to keep on going. Because we're looking for something new. 
So once you hit this junction here, we can veer off to the right a little bit. And just over here, we'll see on ramp and you're, you're going to want to go to this place. And you'll notice in this game, a lot of characters we're going to meet are going to stick with us. They're going to become our companions. So this is, uh, unless you call it classified, maybe the dog or something is the first one. This individual here is going to be our newest companion, our first companion that's going to travel with us. So we're just going to go over to the right and enter to find our next companion. As we load up scene five here. Elkhorn mine. So now we can see this woman standing there. Her name's Shannon. This is going to be the next person that we're going to add to our team. And we're just going to spam through this conversation, get it done quickly. And now that we went to the conversation, Shannon went to the right. So we're just going to follow her into this mine here. And we can see her standing there. We're just going to catch up to her. And use this PA system here that we get the option for. And just spam through. A lot of weird things too. I'm just kind of looking at the conversation as well and picking up bits and pieces and it seems a little bit weird, but you'll see the screen shaking, um, which is what we're looking for. The mind's going to sort of collapse and that's going to lead to how we're going to get out of here. And that was not a very long scene at all. Now we're moving into scene six. And now you can see that we're on some sort of machine that's going to drive to the right, that's going to get us moving. And you'll see that I'm turning off and on the light as I did there, and I'm going to keep doing it. And it's, it seems sort of random. You absolutely do not have to do that. You can leave the light on and just keep moving to the right. But you'll see that it's kind of a longer journey, just moving here to the right really slowly. Um, so from what I saw online, if you turn off and on the light periodically, it can make an Easter egg happen. It was something that didn't take up any extra time for me, just hitting that button super easy. So I wanted to see what would happen because I didn't know what would happen. I've done it quite a few times already and it has not happened. I'll make sure to point out when something does, but you can see, at least I didn't see anything happening, but I did notice something later on. So we'll come to this turntable and I believe you can keep on moving straight, but if you don't, you can go search different areas. And to get back to the original course that you need to be on, I wanted to show the option here. You have to go to the animal bones and the rowboat. So when we were initially traveling through, uh, you can see how I judged it is there's that, I can't tell if it's a plant or a rib cage dead center of the screen up in front of us. Uh, that's, that's how we know we're on the right track. So we're just going to get moving. And this is the way out of the cave. And there are other options, other Easter eggs, other things to explore. Maybe, maybe not necessarily Easter eggs, that might not be a good word. But it's right around here when I turn this light off and I'm going to turn it back on. I want you to watch the left side of the screen. And you'll see there that a bunch of people just pop up and then disappear. Kind of creepy. I, I like 
like I like doing those sort of Easter egg things, so I keep kept running it a couple times. You'll see it happen there again, super super quickly. So that's kind of cool, something a little fun. Then we get to the exit here, and you can go ahead and exit. But you have to pick this option to let's poke around for a little bit. Oh, sorry. Let's we're gonna pick. Let's get out of here. And then if you wait for me here, I'll just go and have another look. And what this does is uh, Shannon's gonna start taking off. Which is important. This is for another achievement. Otherwise, I'm not sure if you could probably, I would imagine, just continue on without doing this. But um, I do a little bit of skipping because I was having a hard time getting this. On at least with a mouse, I found I had to get Shannon pretty far to the right here, as you'll see. And once I get her to the right far enough, you want to get her to face you. You as the player. You want her to get, in, get her to face you, as you're going to see right here. And... And I couldn't do that until I got really far to the right here. But what's going to happen is, um, as I still keep trying to figure it out, you see that it was pretty close there for a second, and that was not quite good enough. It's here, where she's straight on, she's looking straight at you, you'll see. weird making weird sounds things like that so i let it do that for a bit and then you can just walk away as i do here and that will get you the achievement hypnagog hip i don't even know how to pronounce that but that's for hypnotizing shannon in the mine and then once you're done that you're just going to head out the right side here and you can see our guy's sort of limpy and taking his time. But as we're out of the mine now, here comes Shannon as well. I uh, can quickly talk to her, spam through this conversation. The, what your options are here doesn't really matter. And then we can hop back in the truck. But you notice I like started clicking things here. When I had clicked the truck, I saw that there was a person holding hand symbol. And I was worried that if I didn't click that, it wouldn't work. So I just quickly went ahead and clicked that. Um, but you just need to actually click the steering wheel button and hop in. I didn't know if it would matter with Shannon now, but no, it was just a conversation piece. So now you're going to want to head downwards to Marquez Farm again. The farmhouse. And this is what I mean where, uh, we, if you notice the character was limping as we enter scene 7 here. Uh, he takes forever, it feels like, to walk up this hill. And I mean, it's really... Like, what, 45 seconds or so, maybe? Uh, but no point in watching that. You've seen this part. You've seen him limp up the hill. Or walk up the hill, I should say, the first time. So I just sped this up really quickly. Because, like, like, you can see how slowly he's walking here. And it's a long hill. So here's it's just sped up super quick. I maybe could have done a little bit faster. But you can get the point where this is sped up and he's still taking a while. And what we're doing back here is we're going back to that TV that we saw in the house. And it's important that we have Shannon with us as that's what it takes to complete this this first act. So we're going to enter the house. And now we're going to click on the Shannon button here, which is going to have Shannon fix the TV. And this is going to reveal something to us. Uh, that's not important now, but for the next act. 
So here we click the TV. And we're right at the end of the act. So after this cutscene plays, you'll get the achievement Act 1, which is simply just as the name suggests for completing Act 1. But here's her fixing the TV. We'll spam through the conversation. And here she's revealing that that is not a barn. That is some sort of secret entrance. That's it for Act 1. Join me in Act 2 and I'll show you what to do from there. Thanks for watching.